Hello and welcome to CI Tech 900A, Introduction to the Innovative Educators Advanced Study Certificate. This is the first cohort of this unique program offered through a partnership between computer using educators and Fresno Pacific University. My name is Mary Bennett and I am thrilled to be working with all of you. I have been involved with professional development courses at FPU since 1985 and have had first-hand experience with the global impact of technology on education. I also work as an instructional designer at Fresno State, helping faculty in the design and development of online and hybrid courses through consultation and training. The purpose of this screencast is to introduce you to the introductory course, which covers the details of the program. Alice Keeler also welcomes you to the first cohort. We will be your instructors and points of contact throughout the certification. The certificate program is delivered totally online using Moodle, the e-learning software used to deliver online courses. Fresno Pacific is transitioning to Moodle 2 and you may have noticed the URL links to a beta server. While we are fortunate to be using the latest software, we also need to realize that this is a beta environment and they may need to do periodic maintenance. You will find the syllabus and schedule in the Start Here module. You will also find information and links for creating a Google account if you have not yet done so. This certificate uses Google tools heavily so this account is important. You may even want to consider creating an account just for the certification. There are several ways that you can stay connected to the program while enrolled and once you complete. We are using Remind 101, a free app to send out text messages. On Twitter, you can use the hashtag IEASC to follow and tweet. And finally, for those of you on Facebook, make sure and like Q. As you progress through the program, you will also discover other social media tools you may want to explore further. In Module 1, you will introduce yourself to your classmates. You will also take a poll indicating what grade you teach. This poll will help you connect with others at your grade level. You also may want to consider connecting with others in the course and finding a time that meets all your schedules to interact on the discussion forums. In order for the class to be interactive with classmates, it is important to be frequently responding to discussion board posts so that it really engages the discussion. You may want to consider finding a time a couple of days a week where you can go into Moodle at the same time and spend about 20 minutes in discussion together so that it is more lively. You will also see a link to the synchronous sessions in this module. We are using Blackboard Collaborate for our virtual meeting. To interact in Blackboard Collaborate, you will need a microphone and a webcam. The link will become active 15 minutes prior to the scheduled session. There is also a text chat feature in the environment. Module 2 introduces you to Moodle. You will have the opportunity to use the most common Moodle tools and submit an orientation assignment. The core courses in the IEASC program will require you to post your assignments and reflections to your ePortfolio. However, the electives may require you to submit a Moodle, so it is important that you are comfortable using this tool. The last day to drop the course is October 5th, and it is at this time where you will select your tablet. If you have any questions regarding the certificate, you are encouraged to contact myself or Alice. Throughout the IEASC, you will be adding artifacts to your ePortfolio created in Google Sites. You will be provided with a template that you are encouraged to customize. Your ePortfolio will include your reflective blog postings, at least one signature assignment for each course, and information about the electives you selected. You will also be required to post a reflection for each of the artifacts, explaining why you selected the chosen assignment and how it will impact your teaching. The purpose of the ePortfolio is to not only serve as a showcase of signature assignments, which can be used for interviewing and career advancement, but to organize and present evidence of learning through an active, conscious, reflective process. In this module, you will become familiar with Q, its affiliates, and all they have to offer educators, and how they advance student achievement through technology. You will have the opportunity to register to become a Q member and interact with other members through various forms of social media. In this module, you will explore Google Workshop for Educators Network, GWEN, 
an online community focused on supporting educators as they learn more about the power of Google to drive student learning. You will join Gwen and discuss with your classmates what you have learned through the online network. Get ready to be inspired. In this module, you will begin to think about your final project. You don't have to have a solid plan, just some initial thoughts. Your project will evolve and grow over the course of the certification. There are, some off, there are some awesome examples of how individuals are transforming education through the use of technology. The project should share innovative technologies with a larger audience, going beyond the walls of the classroom and outside your school site, while infusing the national educational technology standards. You will want to think about creating a buzz in education with a global audience to share innovation with other educators. You will be working on this project over the six-month certification, incorporating what you are learning in the courses. The final project culminates in the final course, the Innovative Education Project. In this module, you will explore the approved FPU electives, the reporting requirements, and propose a plan for completion. You will find links to all of the approved electives and contact information for the instructors, who you are encouraged to contact with questions. When planning your elective sequence, you will want to refer to the IEASC calendar. Each elective is three units, so plan accordingly and consider taking them when you are enrolled in a one-unit course and completing the bulk of the assignments within the minimum three-week time frame allowed. In this module, you will look back on what you have learned about the IEASC and reflect upon how this program will impact your teaching. You will be required to post a reflective blog entry on your Google site summarizing what you have learned about the IEASC. You will also include your synchronous session notes and your participation in the Q social media community. Finally, you will include your initial ideas for your innovative education project. I hope you enjoy the introduction course and please contact either Alice or myself with any questions you may have. This will be a fun, inspiring six months as we all become innovators in education.